now we're now going to move on to the second part of this lesson, which is about the ethical issues. So let's now proceed. So under this lesson, we're going to discuss only two things, which is about the plagiarism and copyright infringement. So let's now proceed with plagiarism. So what do you mean by plagiarism? Plagiarism, this is basically an act or instance of using or closely imitating the language and thoughts of another author without authorization. This is basically more of you're copying an idea and own it. Okay? So parang yan eh, ninakaw mo and uh, tinuring mong iyo. Okay, so that's plagiarism. So, what is plagiarism? Plagiarism is basically the act of using another person's words or ideas without giving credit to that person. Or, this is the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. Okay? So, this is basically more of labeling it with your own name. Okay? So, in short, you're, you're trying to steal one's idea is to try to steal one's thoughts without acknowledging them, okay, or without giving credits to them, okay. So these are the types of plagiarism. So the first one, uh, the, there are two types of plagiarism. The first one, which is about the sources not cited, and the sources cited. For the sources not cited, we do have the, the ghostwriter, the photocopy, the potluck paper, the poor disguise, and the labor of laziness. While and the uh, self sinner. While for the sources cited, we do have the following: the forgotten footnote, misinformer, the too perfect paraphrase, the resourceful citer, and the perfect crime. Okay. So let's start first the ghostwriter. So what do you mean by ghostwriter? The writer turns in another's work, word for word, as is or her own. In short, um, ghostwriter pinaltan lang yung pangalan pero as is. Ibig sabihin, kung anong nandun, yun yun. Pinalta niya lang yung pangalan and uh, claim it as her own. Okay, so that's ghostwriter. Next one is about the photocopy. Photocopy is about the writer copy significant portion of text straight from a single source without alteration. So, copy-pasting ang peg nito sa number two. So, are you uh, fond or are you one of the person or people uh, that do copy-pasting from the internet? So that's photocopy. Next one is third, uh, the potluck paper. So what is potluck paper? As you see into the potluck paper, iba-iba ang potahe, right? So what do you mean by iba-iba ang potahe? Ibig sabihin, iba-iba yung source. Tapos ang ginawa mo, the writer copies from several different sources, tweaking the sentences to make them fit together while retaining most of the original phrasing. So, it is basically more of tinagpi-tagpi mo yung mga information coming from the different sources. And you just uh, write and uh, put some transitional devices to put into your paper so that it will be looking like original work from you. Okay, so that's potluck paper. Next one is the poor disguise. So, the poor disguise is about the writer has altered the paper's appearance slightly by changing keywords and phrases. So, you try to change some words or some phrases para hindi maging mukhang binago. Okay? Okay? Or hindi mukhang hindi original. Okay? So, that's the poor disguise. Next one is the labor of laziness. Labor of laziness is about the writer takes the time to paraphrase most of the paper from other sources and make it all fit together. So, what you do is just paraphrase it and then make it your own. So, para hindi nga kayo ma-plagiarize and makasunan ng plagiarism, definitely, kung ipaparaphrase mo siya, i-credit mo lang yung may-ari nung idea. Okay? So, that is labor of laziness. Next one is the self-stealer. So, what do you mean by self-stealer? Ibig sabihin, dinakawan mo yung sarili mo. So, what do you mean by that? The writer borrows generously from his or her previous work. Just for example, ikaw, uh, si teacher, ay may, uh, uh, may pinagawa sa yung uh, what's this, reaction paper of a certain story. So ngayon, um, that wa, that's today. Eh ngayon, naalala mo, ay di ba nang junior high school ka, may pinagawa ding reaction paper yung teacher mo dati sa isang story. So, ang ginawa mo, kinapipaste mo lang kung ano yung ginawa mo before. So, that is what you call self-stiller. 
Okay? So, next one is um, sources that are cited but still plagiarized. Yung na-forgot may footnote. So, the writer mentions an author's name for a cause but neglects to include specific information on the location of the material reference. So, you forgot the footnote. Next one is the misinformer. Ito yung inaccurate yung information regarding the sources. So, making it impossible to find them. So, for example, yung 56, naging 25, yung uh, 15 degrees temperature, uh, Celsius, eh, iba ang ano, that is misinformer. So, that's still plagiarism. O kaya, ay may pinaltan ka lang na, na pinalitan mo yung, yung name ng isang program. So, giving inaccurate information regarding the sources, making it impossible to find them, that's still plagiarism. Next one is the too perfect paraphrase. The writer properly cites a source but neglects to put in quotation marks. Ibig sabihin, ang ginawa mo, do sa paraphrasing mo, ginawa mo parang ininterpret mo siya. Pero ang totoo, hindi mo naman talaga siya ininterpret. Yun talaga yung sinabi ng author. So, you try to neglect, uh, but you neglect to put in quotation mark. Okay? So, that's the two perfect paraphrase. And the next one is a resourceful citer. Yung ganun sa ginawa sa potluck, pero ang ginawa mo, the writer properly cites all sources, paraphrasing, and using quotation appropriately, but the paper contains almost no original work. Ibig sabihin, nagkapi-pasting ka lang, wala ka nang nilagay mong idea doon. Wala ka nang ginawang interpretation doon sa minigay na idea ng mga authors na sinayot mo sa taas. Okay? Next one is the perfect crime. The writer properly quotes and cites sources in some places, but goes on to paraphrase other arguments from those sources without citation. So that's the perfect crime. So the writer properly quotes and then cites sources in some places, but you try to paraphrase in other arguments without citing. Okay? So Without receiving proper permission or providing appropriate citation, the following are considered plagiarism also. So we do have like copying media, hindi lang pag sinabi plagiarism, it's more of words. You can also copy media, um, images, and then paste it on your own papers or websites or pictures like that. So that's still plagiarism. Kaya di ba? Um, kapag sa YouTube, we do have the copyright infringement or yung, yung mga copyright strike like that. So, ano ang difference ng copyright sa plagiarism? Plagiarism is basically, it's in a written work. Okay? Ang copyright kasi, it's, it's a, uh, the rightful, uh, the rightful um, thing of the owner. Okay? So, making a video using a footage from others' video, using copyright music as part of the soundtrack, like that. So, that's plagiarism also. So, without receiving permission of providing, we do have also performing another person's copyrighted music, like playing a cover. Kaya nga, di ba sa YouTube, eh, kailangan ay, uh, um, I think meron silang ruling about making a song cover kapag copyrighted music. Kasi parang may tinatawag silang sharing of revenue. I'm not very familiar with that because I don't do song cover. So, yon. So, if that would be the case, parang kailangan mong mag-sign up sa isang record studio or recording company para you can have or you can play their song cover. So, I'm not very familiar with that. So, next one is composing of music that borrows heavily from another composition. So, that's uh, plagiarism also. So, these are the famous cases of plagiarism. The MDP in hot water over plagiarized speech. Okay? Another also, ito yung kahit kita soto, nanindigang hindi siya nag-plagiarize. I think this is about a speech. Meron pa yung sa UP graduate student na nag-plagiarize ng litrato. Parang sinaling niya yung picture niya sa isang contest, yung pala, plagiarize yun. Um, eto, nagkakaroon sila ng issue yung bago nga yung bago nga yung sculpture, ata, I'm not very, yung uh, artwork sa UP yung nakahiga, parang ini-issuehan nila yon or may issue doon na it's about plagiarism daw kasi yung artwork na daw yun, nakita somewhere sa isang place. Okay? Another, yung parang advertisement ata about tourism, parang symbol, yung symbol ata, parang inaano din nila as plagiarism. 
So, maraming cases ang plagiarism. That's why you need to be very particular with that. Lalo na kapag kayo ay nasa um, sikat kayo o kaya ay nasa social media kayo or binibenta nyo ang, ang isang bagay, be very particular with plagiarism. Kasi kung hindi sa inyo, definitely maghahabol ang original. Okay? So, next one. Eh, um, so, these are the plagiarism checker website. Before, walang ganito. But... Since uh, we do have already modern technology, there are websites wherein you're just going to copy-paste the sentences and then si website na ang mag-check kung alin doon ang or how many percentage or how many percent ang um, plagiarized in sa document. Okay? Uh, so that's plagiarism checker website. The plagiarism detector, gamarly.com, gudupli checker. Okay, we do have also the as um, from the ethical issues, we do have the copyright infringement. So, what do you mean by copyright infringement? This is basically a legal device that gives the creator of a literary, artistic, musical, or other creative work the sole right to publish and sell that work, or about uh, which is about the valuation of copyright. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung kapag kinopia ang isang bagay na hindi sa kanya or may twinic twinest lang, tapos ganon, that's copyright infringement. Okay? So, copyright infringement has also relationship with plagiarism. Okay? Um, now, paano po pag ikaw ay may isang bagay and you want uh, to have a copyright of it? Um, kung gusto mo talaga ng uh, ano, kailangan mo siyang i-publish or make the library parang ganun parang the public library know that it's your right or it's your uh, you own it you own the object or you own the music or you own anything to own that thing okay parang kailangan mo siya lagyan ng label para hindi ka manakawan okay kasi kapag hindi alam ng tao na iyon definitely pwedeng manakaw ng iba so that's why be very particular with labels with labels into objects kailangan may ownership siya hindi siya pwedeng walang label kasi pag walang label pwedeng makuha na pa so parang relasyon lang yan okay so kailangan daw ang um, parang ang mga bata kasi ngayon eh they are not very fond of labels and eh. they are more of MU mutual understanding parang iyo ikaw ay akin at ako ay iyo parang ganun lang para pero tayo lang ang nakakaalam here at copyright infringement, hindi pwede yung ganun. Kailangan alam ng tao and mayroong isang organization na talagang um, kinedit na yun ay uh, work mo. Okay? Kailangan alam nila para pag naghabul ka at may gumamit yung pagmamayari mo, pwede ka magreklamo. So, ganun. So, parang sa relasyon, kapag MU kayo, hindi ka pwede magreklamo. Okay? Uh, kailangan, lagyan mo muna ng label para may karapatan ka. Kung wala kang label, wala kang karapatan mag -inalte. Okay? So, that's a legal device that gives a creator of literary, artistic, musical, or other creative. Okay? So, what is um, under copyright infringement, we do have what we call intellectual property. So, what is intellectual property? This refers to the creations of the mind such as inventions, literary, artistic words, designs, and symbols, names and images used in commerce. In short, used for businesses. Okay. So, we do have what we call the Republic Act 8293 Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines. Kaya kailangan nire-register mo ang isang bagay. Okay. Para pag kinuha ng iba, may habol ka. Okay. So, these are the different types of intellectual property. We do have the trademark, the logo. So, all the things that you see into that car, they are protected by intellectual property. So, the hood, the logo, the engine, the uniquely uh, style seats, the method of manufacturing, the body design, like that. So, that's intellectual property. So, we do have different types of intellectual property. The copyright, the patent, the trademark, the industrial design, and the geographical origin. So, let's have first the copyright. Copyright is basically a legal term used to describe the rights that creators have over their literary and artistic works. So, like books, music, paintings, sculptures, and films. 
to computer, programs, databases, advertisements. So, that's copyright. Okay. That's why we do have what we call copyright infringement. So, pag kinopia mo siya, nang hindi sa iyo, that's copyright infringement. So, so the example of this one is yung kay John Legend, All of Me, owns a copyright in the musical work. So, John Legend performed the song and owns a copyright singer and then the record was released which is owned which owns the copyright in the sound recording. So, that's two music copyrights. So, the example of this one is kapag hindi siya, di ba, may makikita kayong hindi daw siya ma-download. Parang ganun sa YouTube. May ganun sila eh, about copywriting. So, kapag yan eh, this video contains content from Fox was black and copyright grounds, definitely, ang, ang na... Ano niya, ang nalabag niya is copyright infringement or yung copyright strike sa YouTube. Not very familiar with that. So, the creative industries are this intellectual property rights. So, here we do have uh, the intellectual property code of the Philippines uh, validity, validity period for each copyrighted work. So, kapag literary works during the lifetime of the author plus 50 years after death. So, uh, sa art naman, 25 years from the date of creation. Pag photographic work naman, 50 years from publication. Pag audiovisual work, 50 years from publication. Um, pag sound recording, 50 years from your recording to place. Pag broadcasting, 20 years from date of broadcast. Pag trademark, valid for 10 years. Kaya nire-renew sila after 10 years. And then invention but patent, valid for 20 years from filing date application. Okay? So, ngayon, ma'am, paano po kung, uh, like kung si Rizal, meron po siyang mga sinulat na mga babasay. So, pag ganyan, ang, ang copyright na niyan is public domain. Pag sinabing public domain, ay everyone can use it and then everyone can use it and just, so, um, ganyan. So, ma'am, ang tanong is, paano kung yung writer or yung creator is patay na and like that. Um, may basis yun in terms of kapag ang creator ay patay na and all or matagal na or like after 300 years like that katulad ni Jose Rizal, lahat ng works niya ay under or owned by the public domain. Right? Pag sinabi yung public domain owned by the public basta you just need to credit the author. Okay? So in short kasi pag ganito uh, pag ganito kasi pag mag broadcasting trademark meron niyang kasing ano to may may right sila diyan so pag may right sila ginamit mo yon kailangan mo silang bayaran okay so ganun yon so next one we do have intellectual property pag sinabing uh, intellectual property in terms of patent this is about an exclusive right granted from for an invention provides a patent owner with the right to decide how or whether the invention can be used by the others. So, kaya meron silang paten, patenting na paper and all where in sa patent na yun, nandun yung design and like that. So, the example of patent here is uh, a sun glass and also a bottle glass. So, iba-ibang design depende sa designer. Okay? So, we do have like that also, the cell phone, the iPhone, the chair, and the, the guitar. So, um, bawat isa dyan ay may owner and may designer yan, na, or yung inventor, okay? So, this one also, the example of a uh, patent, which is about the Michael Jackson defying link shoe. So, here... Akala nyo, si Michael Jackson talagang nakakano ha. But just because of the shoe that Michael Jackson used, nakakapaglin siya. Okay? So, like that. So, this is the shoes that made Michael Jackson anti-gravity lean possible. Okay? So, another one is about the trademark. Trademark is basically the symbol or the sign capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one enterprise from those of the other enterprises. 
So, the examples of the following is this one, the McDo, the Starbucks coffee. So, kapag yan ay uh, inulit or kinopia, so, ang tawag din is the trademark infringement. Like this one, the North Face and the South Path. The Starbucks coffee and the Starbucks coffee. Ngayon, kapag yan ay big, two big companies, pwedeng isu in North Face and South Path. Okay, kasi parehas lang, eh, binago lang yung ano, eh, twinis lang niya or nagkaroon lang siya ng tweaks dun sa sa trademark. So, pwede siyang makasuhan. Okay? So, katulad ng Starbucks at Starbung Coffee. Ang, ang ano lang dito, Starbung Coffee, hindi naman kasi masyadong mataas ang revenue nito compared to Starbucks. Kaya, parang hindi, walang, ano, walang dahilan para isu ni Starbucks Coffee na si Starbung Coffee. Pero, Pag mas tumaas ang revenue ni Starbucks Coffee compared to sa Starbucks Coffee, definitely magsusuyan. O kaya mag, uh, mag-file ng case si Starbucks kay Starbucks Coffee. Okay? So, katulad nito, si Mars at saka si Hershey's, two big companies in terms of chocolates yan. So, Mars sues Hershey for trademark infringement over multi brand. Okay? So, nagkasuhan sila dyan. So, another one is about industrial design. Industrial design is basically ornamental or aesthetic aspect of an article. May consist three-dimensional features such as the shape or surface of an article to dimensional features such as patterns, lines, or color. So, the example of this one is itong bag and then helmet. And then yung headphones. Okay? Kaya nga, di ba, nauso ng nauso na, na from that headphone, nauso naman yung Bluetooth. Before kasi may wire, ngayon, wala lang wire. So, that's industrial design. And even the colors. Okay. So, another, um, this is a design infringement from Crocs and Skechers. So, si Crocs, ang original, inimitate ni Skechers, yung ano, um, I think, nagkasuhan sila dyan. So, that's design infringement. So, another one is ito, yung Samsung's uh, smartphone, Apple's iPhone, and then Samsung's smartphones after iPhone. Kaya lang, uh, ma'am, bakit po yung mga iPhone na China-made, eh, hindi naman sinuso ng Apple? Kasi, uh, uh, pwede ma makopya yung itsura niya, pero yung system ng Apple, I think, mahirap pang kopyahin ng China. Yung app, yung, yung OS nila. So, dahil hindi naman chip lang naman, so siguro hinahayaan na ng Apple yun. So, pero kung yan, eh, same brand. Oh, what I mean, same ang money between Apple and then yung Apple na China made, definitely magsusuyang ang Apple yan. Okay? So, that one. So, that's patter, patent or industrial design infringement. So, next one is about the geographical indication and application of origin. What do you mean by geographical? This is about more of goods of different places. So, goods that have a specific geographical origin and possess qualities, a reputation, or characteristics that are essentially attri attributable to the place of origin. Most commonly, includes the name of the place of origin of the goods. So, the example of that one is a strawberry jam of Baguio. Na I know you're very... Uh, it's very obvious and you're very familiar na ang, ba ang strawberry eh, really came from Baguio. Kaya sila ay very well known for the strawberry chan. And for the Cebu, we do have the dried mangoes. Kaya lang may gumaya naman. So, dried mangoes nito. Nitong brand na to. So, that one. So, that is about geographical indication and appellations of origins. Ang cool, ang... Uh, Meron din tayong tinatawag na um, plagiarism o oh, culture uh, no no the copyright of yung mga symbols nung symbols sa ginagamit natin sa mga provinces kay unity be very fair lalo na kung ipapublish mo siya at maraming makakakita na ibang tao okay so so to stop the use of or stop being sued of copyright infringement and then plagiarism you need to use uh, the fair use so what do you mean by fair use fair use is basically uh, you can use copyrighted material without a license only for certain purposes that commentary kunyari mag give ka ng comments criticism reporting kapag or research 
pwede mo siyang gamitin. Okay? Sa mga ganyan, sa mga yung commentary kids and reporting and research or teaching. So, what is the guidelines for fair use? A majority of the content you create must be your own. And another, you give credit to the copyright holder. And then, don't make money of, of the copyrighted work. Okay? So, we do have also the Creative Commons. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Pag CC, this is an American non-profit organization devoted to expanding the range of creative works available for others to build upon legally and to share. So, the organization has released several copyrighted licenses known as Creative Commons licenses free of charge to the public. So, iyan yung CC, free of charge to the public. We do have also... But you just need to create the creator. You can make a profit. You can change the content. You can change the content, but you have to let other people use your new work with the same license as the original. So these are the traditional copyright. You see, this is the Creative Commons, and this is what I'm telling you about the public domain. Public domain is about work can be used, adapted, copied, and published completely without restriction, no permission needed. What does it apply to work published prior to? 1923, work by long-dead creators and work that creators have placed in the public domain. Itong naman Creative Commons, only work that creators have chosen to designate as Creative Commons. So, I think yung, if this one is about the creator set rules for the way their work is used. Itong C talaga is about works cannot be used, adapted, or copied. Kasi ito ay protected by the traditional copyright. So, that's it for... So, uh, that's it for the ethical issues of media and information literacy. So, we'll have the next topic, which is about the societal issues for my next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day and stay safe. <laughs>